All day. All day. All day. All day. Happy birthday. That's fire. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, I asked my boys, uh, they're in a group called Ghost, uh, to come through and kind of help Dave with the studio process. They work with a lot of big artists. They work with Usher, Chris Brown, like they're songwriters by trade. This is what they do. They're also performers too. I've watched how they put together their whole formula, you know, like how they rehearse, how they perform on stage, how they get ready for things, and it's very professional. And I wanted that energy to come in there because these dudes are really serious about what they do. So Dave, Yo. these my homies I was telling you about. Yo. You, you know yeah, we on a time crunch with the studio right hey now, so we're gonna get right into it, but we're gonna do the introductions and everything later, all right? Run through the whole thing so they get a, a vibe with it. Bad bitches, get your checks up. Tell these put their bets up, all right? Stepping on these bitches next, huh? Throw it back in the dress hall huh? one time. He said he need it bad, bad, bad. And she gonna get it wet, wet, yeah. Bust up, get a big bag. He busted for me like he hit that. Bow, bad. <laughs> right away, it didn't get him moving. You got the animation, like, it's like it sounds great. Like, you're very animated and, and that cuts through, but I think you just gotta get in and out of those pockets faster. Okay. You, you know what I mean by the pocket? Nah, look. It, a little bit, I got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, so basically, like, those last words, don't try to carry them too much. Uh, in general, just, like, ride the beat a little bit more, like, on the one. So as soon as it hits, like, you got to be in and out of each flow. You might got to stand up a little bit, too. Possibly. Yeah, get the get the energy and the vibe right. You got to spit it from your gut. Uh, yeah. This, like, is comfortable. Like comfortable. You can't be comfortable. You, you got to get out your comfort, comfort zone, period. Exactly. Look, I told you I'm bringing in some help. They know when somebody's not giving their all, you know? Like, I can assume, but they like, yo, you could do that one more time better. Bring it up this way. Say it like this. So it's real specific to, you know, them being artist to artist. Tell these put their bets up. My bad. <laughs> the energy is great. Everything's great. Just coming in on that first one, coming just a little soft. Okay. So just don't scream as much coming into that one. But okay. everything else, perfect. Because you're really saying something, so make sure that you, you mean what you're saying. Okay. And that's why I said at the end, give it, because you're saying it's a little bit more sexy and sassy at the end, give it that little switch up. Switch back in the dress, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bad bitches, get your checks up. Better. Tell these bitches put their bets up. Yeah, it's Stepping on these bitches next, huh? Throw it back in the dress, huh? See, this is why I got these guys here. Yeah. Yeah. Feel me like, this is why they're here. Yeah, this is about to be heat. Yeah, you think we got enough tapes? Yeah. 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 I know this shit be hard when they ain't writing their own shit. Cause I'm having a hard time right? writing my shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said he wanted to thug Hey, I like how you came on now. I can tell she got yeah, tired right yeah. there. Oh, yeah, run it again, run it again. Okay. Hey, no, 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 she should do that again. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely hard though. She gotta come in with that, like, keep that same energy. Cadence. Like, YG flow. Like. Ride it on my tits, slap it on my hips, bust it on my dash, baby, drip. That was hard. That's that shy energy right there. Hey. <laughs> but damn it, you know, like that last little part, that wasn't the flow. That you, know you switched it up a little bit. I didn't try to. <laughs> well, just try it like that. We're going a whole different direction. Save that. I think we're doing a we we're doing the Liz now. Yeah. He want to do the Liz. They, they said that last part part of the hook was nothing. It was cake. Money. <laughs> It just came together like really naturally. None of us had con uh, contrasting ideas of what this, the sound should be for the track. Uh, just take it back. You still sexy. You soft. Okay. Yeah, take cool. it back. Nobody, you know, egos were on the line. Nobody felt disrespected or offended. I know I'm gonna f that up towards the end, but let's go. Let's drive it. <laughs> let's go. When you link with good people, it's good people, you know. I'm just glad y'all giving it the cosign, man. You know, y'all. This is what y'all do. Y'all performers in y'all own right. Y'all yeah, write for other performers. So yes, like, for y'all to come in and y'all see what we doing is like on a, on the a right path. It mean a lot to me. Cause you know, this is one of my first times really putting a, a record together with a producer from scratch. Mm. So, 
fire. This is a big process for me. Yeah, you naturally you a DJ, so right. you already know what sound hot. You know what I mean? Exactly. So you you not right now you just grooming. That's all you're doing. You grooming your artist. I'm proud right now, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of this. I worked with her on this, so if you don't like it, I'm a part of that. I can't go, oh well, I don't know why. You know, this is all me. Just to be flat out, um, generic. What she's saying in the hook and how she's saying it, you know, it's not like a stretch of your imagination. To some degree, it has to be a little catchy and kind of simple. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. It you has know, to be catchy and, and, and formulaic, for sure. You know, but it just can't be. It can't formal. be robotic. And that's what I Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like every song has a predictable next line, but people love that. What about the second part? Yeah. So we're going to change the that's entire just hook. That's just dated. It sounds like pre-Hot Girl Summer. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? You feel me? You think she should be saying Hot Girl in the hook? The hook sounds like a generic version of We the Best We Taken Over. I didn't understand, is that a bad thing or a good thing? Because Kyla makes hit singles. He's a hit maker. All right, play some more. Let me hear some more. Yeah. Well. See, this is hood. This is, this is hood. This is, oh, oh, right? Pause, pause it for me. Right? So, like, his, I mean, her swag during the verses should have the same swag during the hook. Right? I think it's really the first part of the hook. No, no, no. Even the, the, the second hook, too. Like, it's the hook in general. Like, the hook doesn't have the same swag as the verses. The verses, she's able to get gutter on it. And the hook is very DJ Khaled. Um, I say Meek Mill. Yeah. You think so? The one with, um, we taking over, who was on that? With Rick Ross? Know. You already know, you already know it. You ain't gonna think that hard, my dude. Like, I, I know where, where it's going. Mm -hmm. With the verses, you're kind of like, on a ride with it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because it's so, it's just moving, it's moving, you feel mm -hmm. me? Um, so you don't like the change up? I mean, it's it. not even, I can't say I don't like it. It's just super predictable to me. I'm trying to find the balance of both, you know? And I think we just gotta fix the darn hook. Not necessarily saying what he, w what he was saying was wrong. That's his example, I have my own example. This is her first joint, right? We need, she's about to perform this ASAP. We need this nipped in the bud, ready to go. Like, it needs to be IT. Everybody want to be TI, but without <laughs> IT, we need it. You heard? We need it to be it. I think we can get it tight in less than a day for sure. Like I said, I'm going to give her your notes. And uh, tell her we just got to keep it raw. You know, we're going to switch the hook up, give it a little bit more edge to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, the key word is natural. Yeah. Right? And that joint was very contrived. Anybody can put together a single and say this is a single, but how do people receive it will tell you exactly what's popping, mm -hmm. right? So how do you think the people gonna receive this? When if she play, performs it, I think they're gonna like it. And what does what does they're gonna like it entail though? Are they gonna click it and stream it? Are they gonna remember her name after the performance? To um, go I, and I, listen to the music? I believe so, but right, yeah, so, we'll see. Well, prove it to me, can't Yeah, say? I believe so. When he starts saying the feeling of it, I got it rather than what he was like really trying to pick it apart. I just knew overall it's not feeling what it needs to be. We got to change it. I let Ruddy listen to the track to get his feedback on it. Overall, he loves the track, but he has some, um, he has some opinions about the hook. He said like you could kind of predict. Expect it was yeah, he said it was kind of predictable. Yeah. Like, right. you know, when it came on, it's like, you know, it sounds like a typical, like, club song. <laughs> and, and, but, but first off, that wasn't, like, formulated at all. That's just how I felt. Like, I wanted to talk my sh I felt like, um, like the female meek up in there. Like, That's what I said, no, though. I said I was getting, like, a meek vibe from like, it. We had to change the hookup that she was liking, and she really wasn't a, a bad sport about it, you know. Don't go in there think like you're doing a whole new song. Forget the verses. That's Tough, real, real no, tough. No, no, like, no. look, I done painted a picture. Like, I know what the video look like. <laughs> like, all of that. I, I know what the girls gonna do when they hear mm -hmm. it on Instagram in the club. So, so let's keep certain elements of it, but let's definitely make it feel more. I think overall we can all agree, and maybe, maybe not you yet, but mm -hmm. that it's just a little too polished.
You know, Day wanted to go in there and make something for the ladies. When she described how the song felt to her, she's like, you know, when you watch those girls do those dance videos on Instagram, like she wanted to do something where women would really want to rock to. Yeah. I was ready to twerk this song out. <laughs> I don't think he's saying it's what you're saying. I think it's how it feels. It, it's like the feeling of it. I think it's too polished. I think every artist has some trouble coming up with a good hook, right? I think that's every artist. Everybody needs help with a hook. Even if you're the best hook person, you probably have somebody helping you with hooks. How would this be a song that you will play on a regular like how can we turn this hook around to be that because i think you know that's important for me because i think about it like we all like it but i feel like when i listen to it i'm like i don't know if reap will take this and listen to it you know what i'm saying for or play time. it for somebody on his own time exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. i just think you got to make everybody want to post a song up and do they is that's the type of song it is you know what i mean so it just got to be the right cadence on how you saying it and what you're saying to catch everybody else. whose song is that that's what you want. Still at the same time, this is somebody's creativity, it's their craft. You never know when you're pushing too far or something is striking a nerve. Like, she could have really been, I don't, I don't want to change the hook. You know, she liked the hook. But I think her as an artist, she must have felt the critique and somewhat understood like, hey, maybe we need to look at it in a different way. That's up, bye. I like the breakdown, bro. Got to see Rifa in his element. I think when we first was working with him, you know, he had to open up, but to see him, you know, moving and jumping up and down, and so that felt good. He said he needed bad, bad. Put some delay on it. Call up BVS is dripping with splash. See, I like how she said the splash, but now the hook gotta be. It's not a lot of time you see somebody like Reef like do what he did. You know, a lot of times when I go in the studio, these artists kind of already know what they want to do, already have their own formula. You know, it's already set in, set in plain. So to watch Reef kind of mess with the beat, shorten, you know, telling the engineer to shorten this, and it was good to just see how a producer really works. Wet, we slang, freak, hoes, do your thing, do your thing. Call Woo it's coming together, girl. <laughs> Look, y'all like that wet wet. Uh, <laughs> well, you know we don't want to drive. Ready? Break, back, pull, up. Give me neck, give me neck, give me neck, give me neck. Got me a little nervous. Give me neck, give me neck. 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 Give me neck.
But I like this one now. It has a nice intro that's really raw. Like her kind of like, she was freestyling. Like that kind of has how the song comes on now. Into the new hook. I like it. I would love to uh, continue to do this. Shout out to Ruddy and Rifa. They definitely were both great people. Good energy to work with. I feel like the track came together. I'm excited. I think. Cut the check, freak. Do your thing, do your thing. Hard body, bad bitch, get a little.